Yo, what is going on all of you amazing people over on Carnage? My name is Nick, and I can promise you all that you are in for a treat today. This is a crossbow-only nuclear by Carnage Nader on the map Infection. Now, Nader's channel will be the first channel linked down below in the description, obviously. Please be sure to go give him a look. He just passed 15,000 subscribers. Let's get him on that road to 20,000. He definitely deserves it. This gameplay can show you all that. That's not even to mention that he got the Crowbar nuclear, and he also got the Fury Song nuclear, which you may have seen on Carnage. You are going to want to hop over to his channel after this video and hop on the bandwagon right now while you can. His gameplays and his content have both been improving greatly recently and I really do believe his channel is going to explode. We're still technically at the beginning of Black Ops 3 even though it might not feel like that. We're only three months in or so and he's already producing gameplays like this. It's insane. Go give him a look. If you guys enjoyed the video as a whole, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Let's shoot for 1200 likes on this video. I know that's kind of a bigger like goal than usual, but I believe in every single one of you. If we can't hit it, I understand. I won't be that mad at you, I swear. But it would mean a lot to all of us. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with everything going on on Carnage, never miss an awesome gameplay like this one, please be sure to follow all of our social media. It'll be linked down below in the description. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you all know the deal. So I know a lot of times with awesome gameplays like this, you guys like to copy their class setup, so I made sure I had it completely. He's got the NX Shadow Claw, or the Crossbow, whatever you prefer to call it, which I can't even get, but that's a story for another time. He's using the ELO Sight and the Bayonet as attachments. He's got a trip mine and a shock charge perk one flak jacket and ghost perk two scavenger perk three tack mask he's using combat focus as a specialist and his score streaks are uav guardian hater interesting choice with the guardian now a nuclear with the crossbow is no easy feat the crossbow's a lot like the sparrow except just a worse version of it both the sparrow and the crossbow you can shoot fairly rapidly but with the sparrow you have unlimited range basically you can shoot a dart at people from across the map with the crossbow it's more of a dud you can see every time he shoots the crossbow arrow, it goes up and it starts to sink immediately, so you have to shoot a little bit above where you would usually aim unless you're point blank. And that's the same way the sparrow is when you don't draw the string back, but if you draw it back, you know you can shoot a laser across the entire map. Basically, the crossbow is like the generic Walmart brand of the sparrow. On the rankings of the DLC weapons, though, I would have to rank it number two only behind the MX Grand. Of course, because the Grand is an assault rifle, and that's meant to be able to be used in a lot of different situations. While the crossbow is still better than the melee weapons in my own opinion depending on how you play the game but at least with the crossbow you have a little bit of range whereas with melee weapons you have to be right up close and personal and although it clearly isn't one of the best weapons in the game it does look like it would be very fun to use and try out so i have to give major props to treyarch for their dlc variety they've brought into this game they've done a lot of different things through dlc already only three plus months into the game i'm i'm impressed with them and that definitely leaves our minds wondering what we could get in the upcoming months through dlc DLCs or through random black market editions. I think it's going to be some exciting stuff. Hopefully some more awesome weapons. I would love to get a couple more primary weapons, maybe even remakes from previous Call of Duties, just like the MX Garand was. I would love to get some new secondaries and of course more melee weapons, which I definitely think they'll do. Just think about all the hype that would surround it if they brought in a fan favorite gun. I mean, there was a good amount of hype for the MX Garand. It was called the M1 Garand in Call of Duty World at War, and I was a big fan of that game, and I never noticed people using that gun. That was not a top three top five favorite gun in that game and then bringing it into black ops 3 still drew a ton of excitement so imagine if they brought something like the ballista everybody's favorite sniper i mean black ops 2 was insanely popular and that was a lot of people's favorite sniper not only just in bo2 but in the whole call of duty franchise the only thing that can really compete with it is the intervention in my opinion if they brought the ballista or a fan favorite gun like that back into the black market in black ops 3 imagine the boatloads of cash that would be spent from snipers everywhere either Either way, it's just exciting to think about the possibilities of what could come in the future. If you did make it this far in the video, though, I want you to let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite DLC weapon that has been added so far in the Black Ops 3 is. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember, like I said, please be sure to hit that like button. Nader definitely deserves a lot of support for this awesome gameplay. He has been grinding out gameplay after gameplay, and a lot of them with these new, unique weapons, and that's really impressive. His channel, I have a very good feeling, is going to continue to do awesome, and I just want to say really quickly, thank you all so much for the support that you've been showing on Carnage recently. The channel has been doing amazing. Your guys' support is overwhelming to all of us. Every single member over here has commented on it, commented on how much you guys have been supporting us recently, and we really do appreciate that. Hits us right in the heart. Well, thank you, friends, for listening to me today. If you guys did enjoy the commentary, of course, my channel will be linked down below in the description, but I don't deserve nearly the love that Nader does. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. I'm out here. I'll see ya.